Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about absorption band concept. Okay, here we know various spectra are there like UV visible, IR, NMR, mass. Okay, if you see, if you compare one spectra with another spectra like UV visible with IR or IR with NMR, okay, you can see different patterns of absorption bands. Okay, different pattern of absorption band nothing but if you see one spectra like NMR, okay, you can't see absorption band in NMR spectra. Okay, instead of absorption band, you can see absorption peak. If you see mass spectra, there is no presence of absorption band and absorption peak, presence of absorption line. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about absorption band concept. With the concept of absorption band, you can clearly distinguish, clearly distinguish UV visible with IR or IR with NMR and NMR with mass spectroscopy. Right, here we will see, we know sample X is having molecular energy, okay. Molecular energy based on electronic energy, vibrational energy, rotational energy. And here, if you see the energy ratio of electronic energy, vibrational energy and rotational energy, okay, the energy ratio is 10,000 is 100 is 1, okay. So, what does it mean? Electronic energy levels are 10,000 greater than or 10,000 than vibrational energy levels 100 percent than rotational energy levels, okay. So, here the output of electronic energy, vibration energy, rot rotational energy nothing but the output of the results nothing but molecular energy simply sample energy, right. Now, we will see one representation based on energy levels of various energy factors okay here i already mentioned electronic energy levels are 10000% okay coming to second one vibrational energy levels are okay 100% the third one is rotational energy levels are 1% we know in the general phenomena 10000 wall is always greater than 100 everyone knows okay like that 10 hundred wall is always greater than one so these 10,000 okay, in general I am considered as 100 percent 100 percent energy volume if I consider electronic energy 10,000 wall is 100 percent okay here if you observe the level of vibrational energy is 50 percent 50 percent means the energy level of vibration is of energy of the electronic energy nothing but in scientific term vibrational energy levels are sub levels of electronic energy levels sub level means 50 percent now i consider electronic energy 100 percent but here vibration energy is 100 percent now vibration energy is 50 percent so what does it mean vibrational energy levels are sub levels of electronic energy levels Right, same comparison, okay, if I focus on rotational energy and vibrational energy, okay, we know 100 wall is greater than 1 now, so here, if you see, I consider vibration energy 50 percent, okay, so what is the level of rotational, half of the vibrational now, so here, rotational energy levels are the sub levels of vibrational energy levels, okay, so based on relation, 10,000 greater than 100, 100 greater than 1. Right. Now, we will focus on each individual spectroscopic topic. Okay. The first one is UV visible. The second one is IR. The third one is NMR. The fourth one is mass. Right. UV visible spectroscopy deals with changes in electronic energy. IR spectroscopy deals with changes in vibrational energy. NMR spectroscopy deals with changes in rotational energy. Okay. Coming to mass, in mass we never use any form of electromagnetic radiation. The mechanism in mass is electron bombardment process utilizing 70 electro volts energy. Okay. So, this concept is completely different from rest of 3 UV visible IR NMR. Right. 
okay so now we focus on uv visible i already mentioned uv visible focus on changes in electronic energy so what is the level electronic energy level 10000% so in order to change 10000% instrument should require maximum amount of energy so in uv visible using uv visible radiation we are employing external uv visible radiation one form of electromagnetic radiation so because of high energy associated with uv visible it may changes in electronic energy okay whenever it causes create changes at electronic energy okay that changes captured by the detector that detector respond give one absorption line this is absorption line on spectra okay so y axis x axis talking about uv visible so uv visible radiation because of high energy create changes electronic energy but try to understand here high energy form of uv visible radiation also create changes at vibrational energy because see high energy ready to create changes 10000 so because of high energy it can also create changes at 100% it can also create changes at 1% because of 10000 energy form no so due to changes at vibrational energy it will give one absorption line at particular area and due to changes at rotational energy it will give one more absorption line okay so the concept is high energy form of uv visible radiation so if you observe low up if you observe okay appearance of many of absorption lines at particular area okay seems as absorption band that is the reason if you take any of the uv visible spectra of compound the uv visible spectra is consist of broader absorption bands okay so absorption band due to due to one absorption peak due to changes in electron energy one absorption peak due to changes in vibration energy one absorption peak due to changes in rotational energy okay so this is absorption band from uv visible spectra right coming to ir spectroscopy in ir we are employing external ir radiation okay so ir radiation the basic mechanism of ir spectroscopy make changes in vibrational energy how much energy 100% we are employing ir radiation so ir radiation is sufficient to make changes at 100% but try to understand here ir radiation is insufficient to make changes at 10000 because we are probing only 100% 100 is always less than 10000 that is the reason ir energy okay never sufficient to create changes at electronic energy but another side the 10 100% energy is sufficient to create changes at 1% so due to that reason if you see the spectra of ir ir radiation create changes at vibration energy thereby it will give one absorption peak is over but same ir energy is sufficient to cha create changes at rotational no because of 1% 10 100 greater than 1 no so the ir radiation create changes at rotation energy thereby it will give one more absorption line okay so here through absorption line at particular area okay appear as smaller absorption band the general concept for uv visible ir both are consist of absorption bands only okay but the distinguished feature is uv visible consist of broader absorption bands whereas ir spectra is consist of smaller absorption band okay what are the basis the what are the key point here key point are the basis based on energy of incoming radiation right so now we'll see uv visible is over ir is over coming to nmr right so nmr what are the mechanism of nmr create changes rotational okay how much energy should require it require only 1% energy that 1% energy create changes rotational but you think 1% always less than 100 100 less than 10000 so you are using nmr radiation onto nmr instrument it always create changes on rotational energy only it never create changes on vibrational as well electron so because of changes of changes on rotational energy level it will give one absorption peak okay so there is no presence of another absorption peak okay so 
this is the spectra of nmr right coming to mass okay i already mentioned there is no important significance of electromagnetic radiation the mechanism is electron bombardment process okay mass or mass spectra consist of lines simply absorption lines right so this is about absorption band concept okay so here the conclusion uv visible spectra consist of broader absorption bands whereas ir spectra is consist of shorter absorption bands and the mass spectra is consist of absorption peaks and mass spectra is consist of absorption lines okay so now we'll see the spectra of individual techniques first one uv visible intensity of absorbance versus nanometer lambda okay so this is broader absorption band okay uv visible spectra okay if you compare uv visible spectra with ir spectra the x y axis unit is intensity of absorbance here x axis unit is mu bar centimeter inverse okay here you can see smaller absorption band because of low energy capital a indicates intensity of absorbance what is intensity of absorbance it means more intense means the peak height will be more less intense means peak height will be less intensity means the height of the absorption band or peak right coming to third spectra that is nmr this is ir spectra and the third one is nmr spectra okay here nmr spectra between intensity of absorbance versus h not external magnetic field okay so h not is the symbol for external magnetic field it will give absorption lines sorry not lines absorption peaks okay so you can see clear different and coming to last one the last one is mass spectra okay so here mass spectra consist of intensity of absorbance versus mass by charge ratio okay see mass the x axis unit for mass is m by z m is mass so based on weight of mass molecular weight of sample here consist of absorption lines okay so this is the conclusion here you can clearly differentiate one another okay whenever you see unknown spectra based on appearance of bands or peak okay you should analyze okay whether the spectra is uv visible or nmr or mass okay so this concept help you to understand to identify unknown compound right okay so thank you thank you for watching okay please do subscribe and do share with your friends for more videos